What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the 423. Jay-Z has been all throughout the headlines recently for his new deal with the NFL. It was less than a year ago that the Rock Nation mogul supposedly tried to talk Travis Scott out of his performance at the Super Bowl halftime show, and now it looks like he's playing for the other team. The New York Times reported on Tuesday that the NFL had a partnership with Rock Nation and Jay-Z that will make Hove the new live music entertainment strategist for the league, giving him a hand in picking artists for the Super Bowl halftime show and more and he'll also contribute to the NFL's activism campaign, Inspire Change. Jay said in an interview this week, The NFL has a great big platform, and it has to be all-inclusive. They were willing to do some things to make some changes that we can do some good. Now, automatically, as the news broke, people were confused by this new partnership because Jay-Z has been a voice of support for Colin Kaepernick and has often offered criticism of the NFL. But we all know how people make passes for Jay-Z, so a lot of fans did give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that he was trying to get a seat at the table in order to have a hand at making a change. And as for celebrity support, people are really divided here. I'm not necessarily saying that we shouldn't give Jay-Z the benefit of the doubt. I don't think the way to get what we want is by ignoring issues, but I do think it's crazy to watch people make excuses for Jay-Z for crossing over to the other side when they don't ever give Kanye that time of day. People like Ebro are being hypocritical and continue to say Jay must have a plan, but get on Kim K for just stepping foot in the White House, even though she's made a lot of positive changes, and I presume Kanye's attempts at buttering up Trump are a part of that plan. Fuck down, Trump. Yeah. Anyway, while some celebrities and fans are trusting the process, others are not as behind Hove and his new partnership. Jamel Hill published an article in The Atlantic about why she disapproves of the New Deal. Nessa, Kaepernick's girlfriend, has been speaking out constantly against all of these articles, saying that Jay checked with Colin first and they had an understanding. And most recently, it looks like Rihanna is not a fan of Jay's business move. Social activist Sean King posted a long caption about his thoughts on Jay's New Deal, which began with, Jay-Z was wrong. He goes on to say, let me tell you two things. If you actively banned a friend of mine for working for three years and continue to do so, we can't be friends. We damn sure can't laugh and be buddies. Secondly, Jay-Z was working on this deal for a year. They flew out and met each other over and over again. It's why they look like besties here. And in that year, Jay-Z talked to Colin repeatedly. He never mentioned this deal being in the works because he knew it was shady. He knew it was wrong. Now, sure, you could say that Rihanna just liked the picture and double-tapped without scrolling through the whole caption, but I highly doubt it. Plus, it's hard to miss Jay-Z was wrong right at the beginning, so I just don't see any other way to spin this. Obviously, Rihanna's concern here is a lot more significant than some other celebrities because she is signed to Rock Nation and has been ever since she got her start in the music industry. So for Jay's own artist, friend, and collaborator to publicly show disapproval for this new deal is really telling. But of course, I want to know what you guys think about this. What do you think of Rihanna liking a post detailing why Jay-Z was wrong? And are you in favor of his recent deal with the NFL? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to The 423 for more videos. And if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.